Amazing. Oh, thank you so much for being here. Um, so we're uh, super happy to be, to have you uh, this morning. Um, so yeah. So to, just to to we'll start this uh, webinar pretty soon. I think everyone is uh, logging in. I think we're at twenty eight people. So thank you all for being here. It's amazing. Uh, we're super happy to to have you this uh, to discuss uh, Boma. Uh, discuss about Boma Best and the certification. And uh, today I'm uh, I'm uh, I have the honor to be with uh, Benjamin. Uh, so CEO and uh, President of BOMA Canada. So uh, before we jump in, I just wanted to give you a quick introduction on myself. Um, I'm one of the co-founders of Alveol. Uh, so Alveol is on a mission to yeah connect people to nature in cities, and we work with the built environment. And we've been uh, doing beekeeping on buildings for the last 10 years. Uh, so I'm a beekeeper myself, and Super happy to, to, to be with uh, Benjamin this morning to discuss about the, the BOMA certification uh, program because it's, a, it's an amazing program and we're lucky to have Benjamin with us this morning. So I'll let, uh, let you introduce yourself, Benjamin, and uh, very curious to, to dive deeper into like BOMA Best and how uh, 4.0, the newer certification. So thank you for being here. Thanks, Etienne. Great to see you again. Uh... I guess I've known you for quite a few years now, and uh, and it's been really fun to kind of grow together with Alveol and, and Boma. Uh, you guys have been great partners over the years. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's so funny. I remember <laughs> that day very well in Montreal when I showed up for business meetings on what must have been the hottest day of the year in a dark, dark blue suit. Uh, and you guys were, of course, dressed as you should be like beekeepers. Uh, that, was, that was a lot of fun. And I have some cool pictures from that day. But yeah, I mean, a little bit about me. I've, I've been at at, um, at uh, BOMA Canada for over 12 years. Um, um, and uh, I, I tell people it was a job that I thought might last for 12 months. And here I am. And uh, and so, yeah, we're uh, Canada's leading uh, real estate association with a particular focus on on the on the building itself, on building operations, property management, asset management, um, and and the like, and then the vendors of goods and services um, into that into that industry, um, of which urban beekeeping is becoming an important part. Uh, so we're we're thrilled to to partner together and uh, and excited for today. Beautiful. So the agenda today, I wanted to we're we're going to run through the Boma Best um, certification. What what the uh, What's the program? How it works, and how property management uh, company are using Boma Best uh, to leverage and to um, what you know they're building and to 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 showcase what they're doing in terms of sustainability. We'll go through the expansion of the program and how it uh, is it's constantly uh, growing. Uh, it's it's really impressive uh, the growth of Boma, uh, and, and we'll we'll run through a little bit of the story and uh, how it uh, grow grown uh, the performance and sustainability for like how it's. You know, functioning and what what are the key areas of uh, this, the the program, and then so some success stories and a, a glimpse into the future and what the what the future looks like uh, for real estate, uh, you know, property management uh, team and ownership. Uh, so this is the program. If you have any questions, please uh, ask them at the the end, or you can also uh, use the chat at the on the corner, uh, and then we will uh, run through the questions at the end of uh, the session. So yeah, so just to jumpstart, um, Boma Best, you know, would love to have a bit more uh, insight on, yeah, what's the program, how it works, and and just a bit of a yeah, more more, more like how a property management team are using Boma Best uh, currently in Canada and U.S. and Mexico. I'm curious to have uh, some insight and, and 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 beyond. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, and and by all means, Etienne, as as we as you know, just jump in and push me or ask me this or that if you want me to expand on something. But uh, BOMA Best is, uh, is a Made in Canada um, building certification program that's unique because it focuses on the operations of buildings. Um, other programs typically focus on the design or the construction uh, of, um, of, uh, of, the, um, of the other assets. Um, sorry, I'm just going to minimize this here because it's uh, part of me. Um, but... Um, uh, but Boma Best looks at the building operations, and I always sort of say like there's a there's a similarity with with cars, right? So um, you know cars are becoming more efficient all the time, electrification, energy efficiency, uh, even even other you know aerodynamics can affect the car. We're not in the business of designing and making the cars. 
Um, we're in the business of once you get behind the wheel, drive the car in the way that is most efficient, most sustainable, I guess, is a better way to put it. And so, you know, for example, whether you're driving a Tesla or a or a, uh, a Prius that's hybrid, um, or you're driving a Mack truck or a 1980 Cadillac that's as big as my office, or whatever, you're driving my family's, uh, you know, run-of-the-mill SUV, um, don't turn the air conditioning on if the windows are open. Um, don't accelerate to the red light and then stop and accelerate to the red light and stop. Um, fill your tires to the right capacity. Don't have them low. All these things will, will reduce the footprint of your drive in that vehicle. And that applies whether you're in a fully electric, a hybrid, a gas powered car, um, whether you've got a big car or a small car or whatever, if you can do that across all the cars on the road outside our windows right now, irrespective, you can reduce their sustainability impact significantly. The exact same thing goes for buildings, right? It doesn't matter whether you're in a spectacularly sustainably designed building um, or whether you're in a run-of-the-mill, nice, beautiful office tower like mine, but but still sort of or you're in a dump of a building somewhere or whatever, um, you know, you can still operate the building as you find it in a way that reduces the emissions uh, of carbon and otherwise um, for the building. And it's all the more important for buildings than for cars because cars have, let's say a 10 year life cycle and, and buildings have a 10 decade life cycle. So mm -hmm. it's it's really, really um, significant to do Boma Best for that reason. Um, and and I'll I'll just you can follow up with me as you like, but I'll just quickly say, and you you hinted it here on the slide, um, you know the sustainable program which I've been describing um, is our is our big uh, well known program, you know four thousand buildings certified mostly in Canada, increasing the states Mexico China and then a little bit of here and there around the world we're growing globally, uh, but our new smart buildings program does the exact same thing, but for what a smart building is, we can talk about that if you want. Etienne, yes. and I'll just conclude this part of my answer by saying that when I say we're a big program, I mean it because we just hit our billionth with a B as in Benjamin uh, square foot of certified space a month or two ago. Wow, that's amazing. That's good. That's uh, yeah, very impressive. And and what are the the key pillars like in, in the sustainability sustainable uh, program like the Boma Best Sustainable Program? Like what are the the, I, I know there's six, but the, I'm just like just to to give the audience a bit of a, an overview of uh, what are the the key things that are being looked at uh, from um, like when you look inside the car. <laughs> right, right, right. Both, both foot. So yeah, so six areas of assessment in Bull and Best Sustainable: energy and carbon. And carbon is super important these days for obvious reasons. That's so the biggest uh, part. Um, water efficiency and water in general. Indoor air quality and hazards. The fourth is accessibility and wellness. Fifth is custodial and waste. So the cleaning supplies, the garbage diversion. Uh, and the sixth um, is we call resilience and site. And that's in part about reversing the traditional Boma Best. So Boma Best in general <clears throat> is about mitigating the building's impact on the environment. Resilience and site is largely about mitigating the environment's impact on the building. I can't believe I'm saying this. I could not have said this even five years ago, but we're now into forest fire season. And so heavy, gross, thick smoke that affects so many Canadian buildings and cities around the country. How do we keep the smoke out and the indoor air quality in? How do we keep the water out when there's a flood or even a, a sewer uh, uh, a break? Um, it's about it's about that kind of stuff. I'll just quickly say on the mobile that smart side, uh, there are five areas of focus. Um, security and safety, so cybersecurity and so forth is the first one. Operations and management, how you deploy it. Network and integration is three. End user experience is four. And reporting and analysis sort of data is five. So those are the different assessment areas. And the two programs overlap uh, in, somewhat. Uh, sustainability can drive um, smart buildings and smart building technology can of course drive sustainability. So if you wanna do both programs, the questionnaire is designed such that um, if you've answered questions that are in that sort of Venn diagram overlap, it'll pre-populate those answers uh, in the in the second um, uh, uh, questionnaire to make your life that much easier uh, when you decide to go that route. Love it. Wow, that's amazing. 
And and when we um we look at the um, kind of the the, the story of uh, Boma, I, I what what the like. In terms of the um, expansion geographically, like what would what have been the like? I'm curious, like what what's what are the key pillars and milestone that you've been through uh, throughout the the last uh, you know ten years? Uh, I'm curious, like to, just to run through them uh, because it's pretty impressive, like how it's grown uh, since uh, you 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 started. It's it's pretty impressive how uh, like how much you know it's part of you you're looking at all the ESG strategies and reports that are happening. Like when you look at the the big ownership groups in the world and yeah, Boma. Is, is becoming a really important bill. Like it's part of the the strategy of those uh, funds as we as we speak. And I'm curious, like, is it more on the tenant side that you're you're seeing uh, the push, or it's more the investment side, like that you're seeing uh, the push right now? I'm curious to to get that insight to uh, from a your perspective. Yeah, it's a great question. So um, there are it, it's a little, a little bit confusing, but there are owners of commercial real estate. And then there are managers, property managers of commercial real estate. And then there are owner managers of commercial real estate. So some companies are just own. They're in the business of buying and selling and, and owning as, a, as an asset. Yeah. Um, and then there are other companies that are just in the business of managing. They are third party. Uh, they're like um, lawyers uh, and accountants. They, they go out looking for clients um, and they, their clients are the people who are owning and managing. And then there are those who own and self-manage, and then it becomes a little more complicated after that. So your question about who's demanding MoMA Best is a really good one, because um, to focus, for example, on the managers, and we have all of the above in our membership, but to focus on the managers, and the M in BOMA is manager, um, they're often, I sort of you know, half joke, the they're the meat in the sandwich, because they're kind of stuck uh, trying to service the needs of their owner clients mm -hmm. and of their tenants, which is just a fancy word for customer, right? It's just an old fashioned word for customer. And both of them are demanding sustainability. Mm -hmm. Owners are demanding sustainability because in Canada, we have a humongous amount of institutional money that owns real estate and they all have public declarations to meet their net zero targets in 2030 and 2050. And you know, pension funds in Canada are humongous. We're, we have a way, way, way bigger footprint in real estate around the world, Canadian, Canadians do, than we should for the size of our, of our economy because of the structure of our financial system, right? Our pension funds, our insurance companies, our banks. Um, so you know, we have a way bigger footprint than say Australia has, even though our economies are, are kind of roughly the same size, right? Um, so, so, but who owns pension funds? Well, retired teachers, retired librarians, retired doctors and nurses, people who care about these issues. So, um, they're actually quite progressive for those two reasons, both who they represent and their institutional status. And they're demanding their managers to, to, to make their building sustainable. But so that's, so on the, on the, on the, on the upper end, on the owner manager side, mm -hmm. on the, on the customer side, on the tenant side, you know, law firms, accounting firms, smaller firms uh, are are wanting to move into space where they can have uh, the comfort that they need mm -hmm. um, to be uh, to be um, in a in a sustainable building, uh, and that might be driven by their own ethos. It might be driven by the fact that they have you know in a in a in a, in a big global accounting firm, they might have public uh, goals as well, and also increasingly, it's about HR. When you want to attract young people to join your company, um, even if you're a dentist looking for a dental hygienist, you know that hygienist might might care about these things. So that's sort of where the pressure comes from, and that's that that's um, that's the dynamic. At the same time, we have in Canada and and outside of Canada, humongous global companies. We all know this. We know the names, and it's just like any other industry, um, where the local has given way to the regional, which has given way to the national. And we're now in a global economy. And so, you know, these big, huge companies have been, come to us and said, we don't want a, Can a standard for Canada and Canada, a standard for the States and the States, a standard mm -hmm. for Australia and Australia. Just give us one standard. And so we said, OK, we better give one standard and we better open up around the world. And so that's why we're so excited to be to be expanding globally in partnership with Bowman International. Wow. This is such a <laughs> very interesting, and I'm I'm curious like when uh, the tenants are looking for a space, is it 
do you, do you hear like that they are searching for like a Boma best? Uh, is it Sorry, do you hear I've me? lost you. At the end, I can't Oh, hear you. oh, sorry. Do you hear me? I, I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay, I, sorry. Go ahead, please. Yeah. Let me, let me uh, so, It so, may have been on my end. I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah, it might have been me. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm just like from the, the tenant side, like do you, do you hear that the tenants are actually also searching when they're searching for a space, they're looking for like a, a building that's, that's Boma best. That's, uh, has, um, a, a, you know, a sustainability, you know, a structure that framework that, that makes it, um, um sustainable like is there is that something that you hear also like from um leasing agent or like people that are also like working on the leasing part of a of those buildings is that something that that's common or We we do we we do hear about it more and more and we're working on that to raise the profile of Boma Best all all the more. It's an interesting dynamic because right now my lights just went off in my office and I'm sitting still. But right now, um, uh, see there is a sustainability uh, feature, right? If there's no activity in the office, the sensor turns the lights off, and all that energy is saved. And I've got lots of natural light coming from over here. Um, anyway, uh, uh, sorry, where was I? Uh, yeah, so tenants. So. Um, yeah, we're we're definitely Boma Best is a shorthand way to get um, comfort and 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 uh, and satisfaction around meeting sustainability targets because the program is so robust, right? I mean, it's it's by the industry for the industry. It's not external. It's not imposed on our members. It's done by our members, and it's tiered, right? So the very very lowest, I should say, the the entry level um, we call baseline practices. is is a quite an accessible uh, level um it's about simply having mechanisms in place to achieve sustainable goals it's not about what you're achieving because you got to walk before you run and then from baseline to bronze to silver to gold to platinum we're creating this pathway because we want our members to succeed um in their sustainability um journey Um, so it's a very, very good program in that regard. From a tenant perspective, they can come in and they can say, you know, we need a Boma Best gold building or Boma Best, you know, platinum or silver or whatever building. For example, Government of Canada has a standard that all leased space or own space uh, of a certain size. I mean, they have they have everything under the sun, right? So they literally have garden sheds, but but all space at a certain level um, needs to be Boma Best certified because they're basically outsourcing to us. their need to hit their own targets. Uh, that being said, Etienne, um, tenants are becoming more uh, sophisticated and they're issuing their own quite complex sustainability reports. So, you know, a bank, for example, um, will ask for a Boma Best, but they want to know the carbon footprint of the building in which they lease space, whether they've got 15 floors out of 30 floors and they have half the building, or whether it's a branch at the corner of Elm and Oak in your neighborhood. And so Boma Best allows the, the owner manager to give that data to, in a very user-friendly way to their tenants uh, so that the tenants can actually um, um, crunch it themselves. Yeah. Okay. That's amazing. Very, uh, very clear. In and in terms of the, um, um I'm, I'm curious, like in terms of the, um, um, The, the resources that you provide also like to go through this process I, I'm just like the from a property manager that's uh, managing a property in office or a retail center like what are the the kind of um, the, the 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 support that you're providing them to 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 make sure that they they run through this process smoothly and and it's not um, uh, because they're quite busy like we, we all know so like how do we you make the, that process really easy for them I'm just uh, to, to, to dig a bit deeper into this this part of the, the journey. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a great, great question again. So um, we pride ourselves in being uh, by and for the industry. Mm so we have we 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 we're we're almost religious in in doing things that in listening to our stakeholders and and doing things for them and with them and never to them. Mm -hmm. Um, and so in putting together Bone Best 4.0, which is the current Um, generation of the sustainable program, um, we had over a hundred volunteer stakeholders from across the country come together multiple times. It was a multi-year process, cost a million bucks plus for us to put this platform together um, because we need to get it right because it's for them. And one of the things we need to do is to be accessible. Um, so what does it mean? Well, for one thing, we're accessible financially, right? Because we're not-for-profit. So at the end of the day, our our expenses are designed to cover our costs, not to return a dividend to shareholder, increase uh, the, the, the value of the enterprise, 
because the value of the enterprise is by law zero. We have assets, but but uh, you know, uh, not that many, by the way, uh, in terms of to financial assets. Um, so one way we do it is by keeping the price as low as possible. And if you compare us to other programs out there, like sometimes there's a factor of one to a hundred in terms of our cost. That's how that's how inexpensive we are. But we also make the program very accessible itself, right? So, uh, well, one way we do it, Etienne, you're sitting, I think, in Montreal, is we offer it uh, in English and French. And yes, we offer it as well in um, Spanish and Chinese um, and other languages to follow. Uh, and then yet another way we do it is we design the program to be able to be done by the individual building manager, by the property manager and the building ops team. And many of our clients, many of our customers, you know, go that route. They do it themselves. And we even have one very large company um, where they have their team doing Boma Best on a certain cycle. And also, by the way, though it's not the focus of our program to, of our seminar today, even the Boma of Canada Awards program as well, they have them doing a certain cycle. And they actually do it, they, they whisper to me once or in a while, we, all, we almost don't care what the outcome is. It's the process of doing it that mm -hmm. forces the team to familiarize themselves with the guts of the building and find these efficiencies and it builds capacity in the building operators. And all of a sudden you get to question 63 and you say, oh, I never even thought about that. Tap, 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 done. Five out of five points. Well, the five out of five points are real points because they're not they're not bull points. I'll, I'll, I'll keep my, my, my English uh, uh, polite. Uh, uh, they they will truly drive the sustainability uh, of the building. We we can't be points chasing for for uh, silly reasons. Um, and then uh, I alluded to before, um, we have these five tiers, right? So baselines, uh, bronze, silver, gold, platinum. Um, so you know, baseline is really: do you have an energy efficiency policy? We don't care if it, what it what it. Uh, I mean, it's got to say there's, there's a standard for what a policy is. But mm -hmm. we don't care if it's implemented. Oh, sorry, we don't, pardon me. I can take it back. We don't care what the outcome of your energy efficiency is. Do you have a water efficiency and a water retention policy? Again, what your actual water usage doesn't matter at the baseline level, right? Because we just we've got to take. We recognize that as as many as these gleaming, gorgeous downtown towers as they are, where I can sit in and see right now, that are in general pretty well managed. There are another hundred buildings for each one of those, scattered in in the rest of Canada, in, in suburban Canada and rural Canada, and sometimes in downtown Canada, that they've just got to be able to start somewhere. Boma Best is a never-ending marathon. The moment you cross the finish line, you don't even slow down. You just keep going. But to train for a marathon, you got to go for that walk and then the jog. That's, that's let's say, bronze. And then the run. Let's say that's say silver and so, and so on and so forth. And we create a pathway. And the program, the new hub is really, really powerful because when you when you put a pin in it and you say, okay, I'm ready to, to submit, send a verifier, a third-party verifier to our property and have him or her assess, uh, you know, keep us honest and have uh, assess our, our outcome. Um, that happens and 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 we celebrate the moment when they when they succeed. But the program, the, the hub, the tool will tell them, oh, you know, congratulations on getting silver. Do you know that for just a small investment of time and or money, you can get this point? And for a little bit more, you can get that point. And then you're on your track to go to a gold status. So you can actually use it for capital planning and for investment in your team. Wow. I love it. Yeah. It's amazing. It's a, it's, it's <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, I, I love you. it. And, and there's a platform, no? That there's a, there's also like a, a platform for, 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 to go through like all those questions and, and it's, um, it's all it's all on the web, no? It's it's easy to to access and easy to to you know. It's um just to, to dig a bit deeper there. But uh, can you uh, tell us a bit? I I'm I never been through the platform, but I'm curious to to hear it from you, like, how it's uh, it's working at uh, that part. Sure, sure, sure. So we have uh we have I guess six websites, but for the purposes of this audience, we have four. So there's BomaCanada.ca, and then we have we have when I say six, I'm kind of fibbing because we have three in English and three in French. Um, but so BOMA Canada is where you can go to learn about everything we do, our thought leadership, our annual conference, BOMEX every September, I leave Vancouver this year. You can learn more about BOMA Best. Um, uh, all of our advocacy and our activities happen at the BOMACanada.ca website. And you can go to there to go to BOMABest.org, which is a different website that we have. Um, and that's the main BOMA Best website where you can learn all about it. Again, there's 
So we're now at four of them because of the English and French for both of them. Um, and uh, and that'll describe the program and give you everything you need to know, with the exception of the third set of websites, um, which is uh, bomabestfieldguides.org. And I forget what the French URL is, I apologize. Um, and the field guide is kind of imagined like kind of a, a Wikipedia or a very annotated appendix um, where every single question in the questionnaire, and there's about 150 odd questions, depending on the asset class. So we have office, um, industrial, uh, multi-residential, open air retail, enclosed retail. Um, uh, um, I'm missing one. I've got out of order here. Shoot. Uh, uh, oh, healthcare and um, and uh, uh, and universal. So all of those start with a common base because the basics are the same. But then the questionnaires, as you proceed up the levels of bronze, silver, gold, platinum, become tailored to the asset class. How you achieve a superbly performing you know, multi-res building is different than how you achieve a superbly performing hospital is different than how you achieve a superbly performing office building. So the questions adjust a little, little bit. The field guide basically lets you go in and geek out to, to your heart's delight. So you can go to a question. It'll, it's, it's almost like if you, I mean, to, at the risk of boring you to tears, it's a little bit like the tax code, right? So you can find that little provision and it'll mm. explain to you what it means. It'll explain how the points are allocated. It'll explain who's in charge. Should it be an internal person, an external person? It'll give you all the tips, every last little detail to get partial or full points in that question because we fundamentally want you to succeed. Um, finally, Etienne, uh, on top of that is the hub itself. And the hub mm -hmm. is where you go to do BOMA best. Again, the questionnaire is there for free. You can look at it now. Stop listening to me, go right now if you want, or wait till 1245 <laughs> Eastern. Uh, but, but the hub is where the rubber hits the road. And that's where in a very, very engaging manner, uh, you can, uh, you can um, you know, start your assessment. The questions are progressive, right? So you, you, they're designed so that, you know, if you're working along, the next question only makes sense if you've done the previous question. They're not all scattered. So they're, they, it grows with you. And once you've completed your, your questionnaire, or even as you're completing your questionnaire, there's a humongous host of, of other resources there that can help you with the questionnaire. For example, just last week, we launched baseline templates. Um, so if you're just starting from scratch, from scratch, all of the baseline practices now have a form that you can we've given you that you can fill out so that you're not missing things and it that way you're you're sort of constrained in a good way to make sure you do a good job. Um, and then ultimately, as you know, you get to the end and it'll give you next steps, you know, so for how to improve your score for when you get recertified down the road, um, uh, everything from that to celebration, you know, how to order stickers for your door, banners for your wall, um, digital tiles for your social, all that kind of stuff. And and the logo is beautiful. It's a new logo. It's uh it's mind blowing. I, I love the the new nice. uh, look of uh, It's beautiful. It's a uh, really thank you, thank you. Amazing. Um, this is amazing. And I'm I'm curious, like more on the the, the success. Uh, like I know time is running really fast, but like is there like a, a success story or a, um, just a, something that uh, would uh, make us uh, yeah just understand like how much like impact you can have when you're joining that journey? Um, from yeah, an example would it would be amazing just to to, to to, for the audience that's uh, listening. Sure, sure. So you have a couple of things on your slide here. So the Toby Awards used to stand for the Outstanding Building of the Year Award. It's now it's called the Toby Awards. So those are the awards that buildings can enter and really the team enters at the local level. So in at BOMA Quebec in Montreal, at BOMA Calgary in Calgary, um, you enter there. There's all these different categories. And BOMA Best is a requirement to enter the awards. But we almost don't need to make it a requirement because the, the doing the program improves your performance so much that it dramatically accelerates the likelihood of winning an award, even though it's required, right? So so um, when we see the Toby Awards um, across Canada, um, we see the outcome. But when we really see it is in the international awards. And I'm going down to Philadelphia next month <clears throat> uh, in a couple of weeks for the, uh, the Bowman International Awards. And it's a very Canadian thing to say, but it is embarrassing how well Canadian buildings do in those awards. We win so many awards. Like it is, <laughs> and, and there's there's actually irritation uh, from the Americans and others because I think, you know, there, let's say there's about, I don't know, I think 16, 17 different categories. Canada will participate in let's say 11 or 12 is because of the way we work. And we'll win six, seven of those 11 or 12 and and so we're walking out with about half of the awards on a global platform. 
So it really is, the proof is in the pudding, right? So we're really just rocking and rolling because of OMA Best on awards. Um, you have a picture up there and, and the mention of the Forensic Services and Coroner's Complex in Toronto. I had the enormous good fortune of touring it last year. It is so cool. I've driven it past it on the 401 highway uh, many times uh, without realizing it was there. This is CSI. Like, I mean, I don't even watch CSI, but this is a place where they will bring a car into a shooting range, shooting gallery, and say, let's recreate what happened and blow the car up. And this is a place that has a, uh, a contamination uh, unit so that, God forbid, you know, Ebola or something is 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 found, I think, anywhere in Ontario. I think it's an Ontario-specific building. Um, they'll bring it there, and they can store it in a way that it'll get... It'll get treated and it will not spread across across Canada. Um, there's a courthouse in there for the coroners. There's, it's, it's a holy cow! It's an amazing facility. It is Boma Best Platinum, and touring that building, you can see this extraordinary complexity. Maybe the most complex building I've been to in my life. And I've been in hundred plus towers in China, and hundred plus uh, um, skyscrapers in China. And I've been in, you know, we've all been in crazy buildings. We think about it, airports and the like. Um, but they said, no, the way that they're going to make sure the building is is well run is by achieving MoMA Best. And they hit platinum and holy cow, it's it's amazing. Wow. It's crazy. I love it. Um, can't wait to, one day I'll visit that building. It looks amazing. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, in terms of uh, this, uh, the future, like, but the uh, 4.0 is, is behind us. I, I'm curious, like, what do you see? Um, how, how do you see... Um, yeah, just like what what do you see as a but my best where it's gonna go and what what's in you know top of mind these days and where we're going with this um this journey that's a sustainability journey that everyone is in is joining the, the so so I'm curious to, to hear from you like where you you're hearing from the market and what do you see uh but my best growing into yeah yeah I mean it's amazing like we grew during COVID when people were so worried you know and we grew in an economic downturn when interest rates are high. And, you know, we we grow and we grow and we beat budget every year. And I'd love to say that that's because we're awesome. And you know what? The team is awesome and the program and the product is awesome. Mm -hmm. And that's, joking aside, that that is part of it. But it's also because we're meeting a demand that is so core. People are saying, I don't care if it's a global pandemic, we've still got to invest in sustainability. I don't care. If, if office buildings are, are struggling because of, you know, return to work and stuff, we've still got to be sustainable. So so the trend is so clear. Etienne, you know, one day your grandchildren and mine can find a career in sustainability. They can. I'm sure of that. I'm sure of that. I don't know how AI is going to change most industries, including this one. Sustainability is here to stay. And carbon, as I said before, is at the center of it. Yeah. Not the only thing. And LVO plays a critical role here. Um but carbon is is critical. Resilience, I mentioned before. So, you know, hardening our assets for extreme weather, and Canada certainly has a fair bit of that, um, is critical. Accessibility is a big thing as well. We're not quite sustainability focused, but so important we have it in there. We work really closely with the Rick Hansen Foundation. They're awesome. Um, people, look, um, people are uh, are waking up to the challenge and opportunity of diversity, equity, and inclusion. And that's often about race, religion, culture, gender. We forget that the disabled community is among the most disadvantaged communities out there. They're in my family and in yours, whether you realize it or not. Uh, my 80-year-old father called me a few minutes ago. He is disabled. Um, and we have to think about those people, especially with the um, aging population. Can they enter our buildings? Is there is there is there at grade entry, um, are there washrooms they can use? Um, if you're, there was a, I flew back yesterday from Winnipeg to Toronto, the fellow on the plane in the seat behind me had his seeing eye dog with him. Um, so we need to make our buildings accessible for them. Also you have on the, on the slide here, the National Green Building Report that has our old logo with the tree in the circle. And that's right, because that's the last one we did because during COVID we had to suspend it, right? So this is this is basically looking at the totality of the billion square feet across the country and around the world and saying, 
how are the biggest capital W we doing? And what are the trends? Where are we doing better? Where do we have to improve faster? And so the last one we issued was in 2019 because there was no meaningful data during COVID. We couldn't say, aren't we amazing? Carbon is going down, energy is going down. Well, it went down because buildings were empty, right? So now that we're back in, we'll be releasing uh, later this year uh, with new logo, uh, the 2024 uh, National Green Building Report. And we can't, that's, that's, uh, that's our, our landmark technical report of the year. Amazing, wow. Uh, we, we also have a, on the Boma Canada site uh, a guide uh, for urban beekeeping. So if you if you're curious to to learn more about the the how to implement the, our solution to the built environment and to uh, that's also something that we've uh, we collaborated uh, with uh, with uh, Benjamin to, to 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 design and and we're uh, super happy to have uh, this uh, this guide also available on the website of Boma Canada. Um, I think we're uh, aiming for like oh yeah also uh, we have a. A special offer for um, people that are on this call. So if you want to join uh, the beekeeping program, uh, we have also uh, something that we're waiving the installation fee for for all uh, new uh, buildings that are joining uh, the beekeeping program. Uh, so if you're willing to 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 uh, join the the the, the beekeeping um, adventure, we we uh, we have a, something special for you. Um, if we sign uh, this uh, new program before the 30th of September, but uh, so this is a something special for. For the crowd that's in uh, with us today, um, again we'll have uh, some question. I would love to 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 get some uh, question from the crowd. Uh, and if you have also like uh, any questions specific to our program or Boma, uh, you can also reach out to Benjamin directly or myself. Uh, we're always welcome to answer any questions, and we're all in this together. So uh, please uh, reach out to us. I uh, would love to answer any questions that are specific to your buildings or your region. Uh, this is always something that we we love to to get your feedback and questions. Um, any questions from the crowd? I'm curious. Uh, we got something here. My building has an alveol program. How can I use it and help the, my building get certified? Um, yeah, in regards to like uh, certification for Boma Best, uh, if you want to um, know exactly the credits, there is a, also a blog on our website that uh, showcases the amount of credits that are avail available for. And I think uh, Benjamin, uh, the category that are um, uh, where the program is playing the most is in the tenant activation, so the tenant engagement part, uh, and then the, the um, uh, stakeholder, and also like the the, the engage, um, uh, sorry, the the on site um, se section. So uh, anything that's on site, the habitats uh, that are created for species that are uh, in the area. This is also an area where we can help uh, get some credits uh, for uh, for your Boma Best uh, certification. Anything to add? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just add. To, yeah, that's exactly right, Etienne. You know, um, so we we as a rule we don't um, uh, endorse particular services or products, um, but there are lots and lots of vendors of goods and services who obviously contribute to uh, to the success of Oma Best. And so, in the resilience and site section, um, we have a a, um, a category called sensitive site management, for example. And that includes things like beehives and hotels, right up Alveol's alley, bird safe windows, uh, nature, uh, natural uh, uh, plants and drought resistant plants. And there's uh, uh, up to five points available, one point for each of those kinds of things. So again, as a rule, we can't say you must go with this vendor or you should go with that vendor, uh, but there are, there are points available for urban beekeeping uh, for hives uh, and bees um, in, in Boma Best. Amazing. Thank you so much. That uh, really helps. Um, uh, and then we have a, a question from Mark uh, asking about the pricing. Uh, definitely something we can uh, run through uh, after the call, Mark, if you have a specific questions about the pricing, uh, we can run through like those different packages and, and depending on what's the the numbers of bee, bee habitats that we install and the numbers of engagement that are being part of the program, uh, there is different pricing yeah, that we can send uh, right after uh, just to, so you can uh, have more detail on specific to your buildings. Um, so definitely something we can run through. Any other questions? Are you seeing more more customers that look to be certified for the first time or companies who are looking to add additional certification to ensure their commitment to sustainability with their stakeholder? You're seeing more customers. Uh, I can I can probably speak a little bit of that if you want. Um, so uh, uh, I see it's uh, Camilo's question. So thanks for the question, Camilo. Um, um, 
it, so Boma Best is is unique in that we focus on the operations of the building. Um, and so um, it's quite common for us to be the only certification in the building. And we touch asset classes that most other certifications don't don't touch. So, you know, industrial, for example, or um, even multi-res to some extent. But even where there are other certifications out there, we don't often really view them as competitors it's not unusual to have multiple certifications because you'll do well with for a unique reason that I've been describing in this webinar, whereas others might be more for other things that matter to other people, including marketing in some cases, right? So um, so I, I'm unaware of, other than the most outlying case, and cases, and again, we have a billion square feet, of uh, people choosing between Bowen and Best and that other one. It's often a matter of um, what suits us best and we're doing pretty well. Um, or let's do let's do both. Yeah, I, I think that's what I've seen in most of the case too. It's um, it's on top of it. If they, it's Boma Best and yeah. on top usually. usually. Yeah. Um, any other questions? Oh, yeah. I think Mark uh, asked another question. We gave an answer. Seven K to seventeen. Uh, is there any accreditation program for BOMA similar to LEED or WELL? Do, do you want to answer this one? Sure, um, yeah. So I, I think the BOMA Best Sustainable uh, Program, which has been most of the focus of our conversation today, is quite similar to LEED in the sense that we look at sustainability. LEED, LEED has a, a different perspective, different pricing structure. Um, it doesn't compete nearly as much in the operational space where we are there. They have a lot of different offerings. I don't want to misrepresent them or even represent them, but they're very well known for, for example, new construction or or or, or design and so forth. Um, and, and it's a great program that does different things. So we are, I guess, a little bit similar to that. On the well side, um, you know, we're talking about rolling out a healthy buildings program down the road. And then on the on the smart side, we can't forget that we have this, this smart buildings program. So we currently have sustainable and smart. We may add healthy all under one uh, one um, quite powerful hub that's integrated and efficient. And so um, we're pretty excited about that offering. Love it. Great answer. Um, I think we're. I think we're. Uh, I think we answered all the questions that are uh, there. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for for being here with us. Uh, the, this is amazing, um, Benjamin. Thank you so much uh, for your time and your. Uh, we um, yeah, we value a lot uh, this partnership and Boma uh, Canada is uh, has been um, yeah has been a, an amazing partner uh, for us and we're we're so proud to be uh, uh, partners and uh, this is great. Uh, this is a this is a great call and. Um, if you have any more questions, like I said, that please reach out to us. We're always open to having a conversation. And um, this is uh, has been an amazing. See you at Bomex. Yes, yes, exactly. See you at Bomex. Bomex is in v Vancouver. This Bomex year? is in Vancouver on September twenty third, fourth, and fifth. And uh, I think you guys will be there. And it's it's sold out two years in a row. We're around seventy percent sold out right now. It's a party. It's education. It's celebration. So please join us there. Amazing. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Benjamin. Thank you, Etienne. Thank you, Alville. See ya.